Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm the Stretch Professor and today we're just doing a really quick and extra channel update here um, just to kind of let you all know what's going on and sort of the direction that I'm thinking about taking the channel in the future. Um, there's going to be a couple of minor shifts and then I'm open for suggestions and I'm going to be thinking of some more ways to kind of um, help stand out a little bit more, maybe help um, make it a bit more attractive for people to come check it out. Okay, so I've been basically looking at the numbers on Twitch and YouTube over the last couple of weeks. Remember that we started off trying to do Twitch back in July when the numbers um, on YouTube fell off again. Um, and it's really, I don't really know exactly why they fell off. I did drop out of Diamond in June, and that's certainly something to think about for sure. It obviously hurts, but at the same time... Um, you know, in years past, in 2017 and 2018, I was also, um, you know, I was platinum for all of those years. And we still had way bigger numbers. You know, in 2018, like in the spring, before we got to, um, before kind of the ADC apocalypse in June, we were getting between 180 to 220 viewers. And even back in 2017, you know, we were still getting like 100 to 150 viewers. And we were a relatively new channel with only like 9,000, 10,000 subs. And I've talked a lot at length about YouTube's algorithm, and that's going to come into play here in a second. And just how they've changed it and what they're looking for and what they want. Um, another thing was, you know, they were getting rid of, um, like, their YouTube gaming channel. And so that was another thing where I thought YouTube just really wasn't committing to Twitch or, like, wasn't committing to um, streaming. And I just, people have been telling me for years, go to Twitch, go to Twitch, it's amazing, like... They have all these, you know, emotes. That's where all the, you know, that's where all the money is. They have all these extra ways you could monetize. They got the bits. You have the, um, the YouTube, uh, whatever, um, gifted subs. The, um, the prime subs. That's what I was looking for. They have all these extra things. It's just a cooler platform. It's way better. And so I was like, you know what? People have been asking me this for years. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go over to Twitch. Worst decision I've ever made on the channel. Like by far the worst decision. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. Number one, viewership's not there. Like, just nobody watches that. I know it seems ironic because Twitch, like, uh, you know, all of the big name streamers, most of them are so on Twitch. And, like, Twitch gets the most majority of people to watch it over any other platform. But the problem is that is hyper-concentrated at the top. If you are not on the first page, if you are not getting over a 1,000 views or whatever it's almost impossible for people to find you. Like, yeah, they can go search through the search engine, but why are they going to go down three pages when they could just go for the top person, right? And so it's extremely top-heavy. There's very little way to distinguish yourself. And I've been saying that for years, but for some reason I was like, okay, you know, my channel's big enough. We've got like 27,000 subs. You know, we were getting, even at kind of our low points, we are getting between 100 to 125 viewers a night. So surely we can get to 75, partner, maybe Twitch will promote me a little bit more, maybe, you know, I didn't expect to get invited to events like Twitch Rivals and stuff, but I was like, okay, maybe they'll promote me, you know, under suggested videos for when people are watching other supports or, or something like that. Maybe I'd get something out of it. It's like, no, we're only getting like 55 viewers on average on Twitch, which for a lot of people would be great, but that's obviously not great when you're used to getting 100 to 125 Twitch also does not give you any ad revenue at all unless you're a partner. So I lost, you know, over $1,000 trying to switch over for that month and a half. Not to get, like, too specific about the numbers, but it was brutal. Like, I lost a lot of money trying to switch over there because just a lot of our viewers just didn't want to go to Twitch. Um, you know, I thought we had such a devoted fan base that, you know, a lot of people would go over there, but... When push came to shove, a lot of people were like, I'm just not going to watch, you know? Um, and a lot of people weren't watching the replay either because people want to watch, um, you know, people want to watch the live stuff, which I totally get it. So, and there were, you know, there were a lot of, you know, devoted people that came over and just follow me anywhere. And I really appreciate that. But there's obviously a very sizable portion that platform matters a lot. And they really, really prefer YouTube for a variety of reasons, whether it's technical, aesthetic, convenience, whatever it is, they just preferred YouTube. Um, and so the viewership was just way lower. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to split it because we had so many subs. Like, so many people were wanting to financially support on Twitch, you know, in the first 
month or whatever, we got to 80 subs. And I'm like, okay, that's really good. So, you know, there is a group of people that do want to support, that do want to help out. And so I want to, you know, I want to respect that. I still want to keep doing Twitch stuff, even though the numbers are bad. Maybe it makes sense if I do this a couple of nights a week, just so people can come out, enjoy it, get some good value out of their sub. Um, and you know, just do it that way. So I wanted to do YouTube mostly and then Twitch a couple of nights a week just, you know, for the subs, right? Just so that the people who are supporting get some value out of that, right? At least eight streams a month um, for the sub. But that had fell off a cliff when I dropped down to two days a week on Twitch. It went from 80 to 20. 20. So it fell off, uh, what, 75% of the subs fell off because I decided to reduce the days down to 20. And honestly, that's probably just the people that watch me on any platform, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or whatever. And in order to get those 80 subs initially, like I said, I lost all that ad revenue over a thousand dollars ad revenue. And then we lost probably 20 YouTube subs the members the paid membership things and whenever i switched over to twitch and we lost um probably 20 or 30 people off of paypal so i'm like negative on this i'm negative on the ad revenue lost a ton of money on that lost money effectively on these subs so the 20 that are left on twitch do not make up for what i lost on the paid memberships on youtube and the paypal um and YouTube just smacked the hell out of me for not streaming on their platform anymore. I lost so many points on their algorithm. I'm not going to go into all that is, but basically, like, YouTube decides whether they're going to recommend your videos or not based on um, how many people view them, obviously, and how many people view other content on your channel. And so whenever I took, you know, a lot of my viewership every day over, like, the streaming over to uh to twitch and then youtube was like okay well we're not gonna promote you as much under suggested videos we're not gonna let your stuff pop up in feeds whenever you release it as much we're not going to we're just gonna take down a lot of your visibility um and so the like the views on the channel probably dropped at least 30 percent if not more the ad revenue dropped a ton as i mentioned before the subs now are just like falling off a cliff um, so it's just a freaking, it's a disaster. Like the whole attempt to try to go to Twitch is a complete disaster. So I apologize for anyone that's been like disgruntled or has just been confused about stuff. And that's another thing with like, people are just so confused. Even though I say this all the time, like literally in every live stream, I have my schedule down the bottom left corner. I have it on YouTube. I've done several announcements for it. I say it every video, every guide. I say it all the time whenever I was on Twitch, like what the schedule is. I had it down in the bottom. People were still confused. They didn't know where to find me. They didn't. They thought maybe I wasn't even a channel anymore or I wasn't streaming. Um, and so it's just not worth the inconsistency. Like the 20 subs on Twitch now is not worth confusing the vast majority of my player base. And just um, people just get in a habit too. Like they don't like switching platforms. You know, they just want to know where they can find you anytime anywhere they want it on the same platform at the same night every night they want that consistency and so you know switching over like that not only you know causes all those problems but some people that would like to watch me just get confused or frustrated or they don't know where to go and so they just go find something else to watch um so sorry about that we tried i'm not trying to be like inconsistent or pull the rugs out under people but like i said this uh the results of trying this new system you know, first full-time Twitch in July for the live streaming and then switching it over to halftime in August, just been a complete and utter failure. So, you know, I figured it was a good time to try it in June. It seemed like it kind of made sense, but statistically, numerically, monetarily, however you want to look at it, it's completely not worked at all. I don't think anyone's really been happy with it either. So it's like not working out money-wise. It's not working out, you know, for the viewers, the fans, the supporters. So we're just going to go back to YouTube full time, seven days a week. So sorry if you really like the Twitch. Sorry if you know, you're know you one of the 20 people that's still subbing on Twitch. You can still uh, support me there. I'll still, um, you know, I'll still give you all the perks. So I'm not taking any of that away. You can still get a discount on guides. You can still play on Viewer's Night if you want. 
everything that's a standard perk of being a channel member, you still retain that for Twitch, okay? I'm just not going to be streaming on that platform anymore for the, the reasons that I said. It's just... It's just a disaster, and it's going to take a while to recover, but I think the only way to recover is through YouTube, just to consistently stream, consistently put out more content, get, you know, just better numbers in their algorithm, and just try to, you know, snowball it and just work our way back up. Um, so speaking of that, Viewers Night, um, so it's technically, I will, we'll just say that viewer games are eligible on sunday i think is the way the best way to say it and i talked about this in the last video as well um in that we're just having really low turnout you know and that's just that's just all there is to it you know and we've lost a lot of our managers um you know uh mr magpie went over to um another game i can't remember the name of it offhand but he still supports the channel he still drops in every now and then but you know he was telling me it's basically like with his work and family situation, um, he just ha he just wanted to do something that required a little bit less hands-on and commitment than League, and so he's playing something that's like a more casual game. So he said he might still swing by every now and then, but nevertheless, definitely a big loss to the community here. Everybody loved Mr. Magpie. Um, he was great. He was active, you know, on the Discord, Viewers Night. He helped us out for years, organizing, setting that up. You know, he's just an all-star of the channel. And unfortunately, you know, he's dropped out. Um, Lev has been helping us out, but I'm, I'm not sure what's up with that. I noticed that she is, like, not on the Discord anymore as an admin. So I I don't know what's going on there. Um, but anyway, so we, we just may not even have anyone to manage Viewers Night. I might have to manage it. Although, if we only have five or ten people that are, like, showing up, that's pretty easy to manage. Um but yeah, just the appetite for viewers night has fallen off. Um, you know, even we have like a hundred people that are like supporting or so from like all kinds of different places on the channel. Um, you know, we still only get like five or ten people to show up on viewers night, and a big problem is what a, like the huge kind of downturn. It never was like gangbusters, amazingly awesome, but like at its high points, we'd get like twenty people to show up. You know, there'd be different people every game. You know, we could get into the Discord. We had some uh, some big personalities that are fun to talk to. You know, like Celaguara, Kleenex. You know, like just people that are just a really good presence. You know, for the channel in terms of like the banter that they have. You know, kind of the wit, the the camaraderie, and things like that everywhere. And so, um, just you know, charismatic, big personalities. And then you know, some of those people have dropped off. Celaguara, I don't know what's up. Um, he's, you know, had some family stuff going on for a while there, and he hasn't been around for a while, and then, um, you know, Kleenex is over playing other games now, like Roach still comes in and hangs out with us sometimes, but he's kind of busy with things too, so it's a combination of losing kind of a lot of these big personalities that made it fun to collaborate and to talk with them during viewers night, made it kind of lively for people, I think, and then, um... Just a lot of our high elo people also, um, stopped attending, and primarily the overwhelming thing that i heard from a lot of people is just they just thought it was low quality games um you know us just constantly getting blown out and just being really difficult and challenging to win and it's just tough to balance that because we have people that are in iron and bronze you know and they're getting matched up against people that are in gold they're off rolled um you know it, it is very difficult to get high quality games in that situation um but when we had the high low people here at least we could like you know, carry some situations, right? If we had, you know, Kleenex or, um, you know, Roach or, um, you know, some of these other uh, high platinum or diamond people coming in, like, we could sort of carry it through and then kind of the lower elo people, they could learn a lot, get some experience. Yeah, maybe they got stomped in lane, but, um, you know, we could still win some games every now and then. But, yeah, it's just, it's really frustrating for a lot of people when you're losing all the time, Um you know, from a viewer perspective and from a, um, just everyone involved, right? So it's, it's not even like who, you know, it's a normal game, who cares, but it's just like, people just like to see people winning. I mean, that's just all it is like in, um, you know, when you're watching something and then, um, people just like to see high quality competitive games, you know, and viewers night has always had less viewership than normal, but you know, it's fallen off quite a lot. And especially the biggest thing is participation is even people that are members, didn't want to come out and participate in it anymore for whatever reason so um we will still do the viewers night like games if people want to play them that show up 
you know, we'll make sure everybody gets one game in that wants to play. But I just don't think it's worthwhile to lose a large chunk of viewership in order for the same, like, seven people to play, like, six games in a row or something on on Sundays. Like, it's fun and everything, but I think it's already, like, a good value compared to a lot of other channels just to get to play with the content creator um, and other people that are supporting the channel for at least, um, you know, one game a week. That's four games a month. Um, I think that's still a pretty good deal, so... Anyways, people, you know, let me know what you think about that, but that just seemed like that was something that had been falling off quite a lot lately. Um, so if, if there's another idea for some way that could work, I know some people have suggested, well, maybe just do, like, one viewer's game, like, you know, maybe an opportunity for that every night at the very end of the stream. And it's like, we could do that, but once again, the viewership's going to fall off. A lot of people may not be, like, used to that. If enough people want to do that, we could try that. Or at least, like, maybe a few different nights a week but if we're only playing five or six games a night which is what's happening lately when i'm you know playing four or five hours like devoting an entire like 20 percent of that time or something one game out of five to doing a viewers night game every night um that's going to be a lot of loss of viewership so we're going to stick with this just kind of on demand on sundays but if you don't like viewers night a lot you know just show up a little bit later if you want you can still show up you know, around 10.30 or 11 p.m. We will have already done the viewer's night game probably, and then we'll be doing ranked for the most of the night. So if you don't like the viewer's night, still come out on Sundays. We're going to be doing more ranked. And if you do like viewer's night, you know, show up early, and we'll get some games in with that. So, um, And then I'm going to try to, like, start doing more guides and more content creation um, as much as I can. It's really difficult with my schedule, just trying to stream, trying to cover Total War Warhammer, you know, teaching three different classes at two different universities, all this stuff going on, it's really hard for me to crank out a ton of, like, additional content, but I'm going to try. So if you like the guides, you know, if you want more guides, be sure to watch those, like, subscribe, recommend them to people. I'm going to try to do it. Um, and if y'all have any suggestions to kind of help the channel grow, let me know. Um, there's a lot of competition out there lately, and it's tough, you know, on the views. And, you know, some of the stuff, like switch, trying to switch over to Twitch definitely hurt. But the channel was also, you know, having some problems a lot of the time, too. So I'm trying to think of how to, like, rebrand or remarket it. Because it used to be, you know, learn support. We've got good educational content. Um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But now there's so much of that, right? There are at least, like, two other uh, supports that I know of that also are running channels. And, you know, they're higher ranked than I am. And they do kind of the same type of spiel that I'm doing. But they're higher ranked. Now, I think that my guides do offer a different perspective, and they're interesting, but, you know, if, if I'm platinum or, you know, pushing into low diamond sometimes, like, it's hard to get, you know, the street cred as other people that are higher diamond master challenger, that type of stuff. And there's just been an explosion in the last two years of sort of um, educational league content. You've got, like, pro guides, and they just have so much more money than I do. I mean, if you look at something like pro guides, right, like, they offer all these courses and things. And, yeah, you got to pay. It's, like, $7 a month to get access to most of their content. But that's not that much more than, like, a, a sub, right, on, like, YouTube or um, Twitch and things like that. And they've – I don't know all of their offerings, but, you know, they also have, you know, multi-thousand dollar, if not, like, million dollar website – it's like they're partnered with all of these huge people that promote them all the time. You know, they're just massive. Like, it's just a massive machine of, like, education. And there are a lot of other channels and, like, um, you know, things out there that are like that, too. There's just been an explosion in, like, league self-help that just wasn't there when I created the channel. And so it's putting a lot of extra, um, sort of extra pressure on me. And so I appreciate everyone that's sticking with me, but I'm still trying to figure out a way to, like, make it my own to grow. I think a big part of it is, like, the conversation, like, how conversational I am during stream and, like, talking about some off-topic or interesting stuff about philosophy or culture or whatever is going on. So, um, you know, maybe I try to double down on that angle and do, like, some profs talks or something and I talk about contemporary events or certain ideas, like, edu other educational ideas, how to become a better writer, how to become a better critical thinker. Maybe something like that I could try to combine with League just to double down on the conversational or the, like the, the professor aspect of it. I'm not really sure. I don't have time to make super fancy websites or the money to make things to, that can keep up with stuff like ProGuide. So, um, I don't know. 
I'm just going to think and, you know, just kind of think about sort of what's going on. But if you have any ideas, if you think there's anything else that I could do to kind of, uh, you know, that would peak, that would get your interest or other people or just a way to like rebrand or think about the channel. I'm still going to have all the standard stuff I have right now. You know, the streaming, the total war, trying to do like more guides. I think more guides would definitely help um, in depth. But if there's something else, um they could just get people more involved or more interested in the channel you know we tried doing the discord it's largely inactive there's a there are a few people that come back and forth and talk about it and um you know i know that lev did kind of that renovation of the discord she spent a lot of time on that i think selagora jumped in with that too i don't think it's done that much i mean it was really nice of her to do that and you know we're trying but I can't be on there, you know, I just don't have time to be on there 24-7, like, answering stuff, and, like, trying, I don't even know, creating stuff on the Discord, um, and the viewers' night lately has kind of been a flop, too, so, I don't know, I'm open for suggestions, so, we're, obviously, we're gonna keep the Discord, people that wanna do the viewers' night, um, we'll check that out, uh, but, anyways, that's gonna be it, just keeping you up to date, so, the biggest thing is YouTube, um, you know, every day starting around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, going to like 1.30 um, Eastern Standard Time, and then the viewer night sort of condensing, making it smaller, making it only part of the night, and then trying to come up with more guides. But anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.